Hey guys, so back on a video today and I'm doing Wet n Wild. I've kind of with Wet n Wild, but I did buy these products months and months before they were cancelled. So if you still use them and like them and like how this look is, then keep watching. Okay, first I'm going to start with Wet n Wild's concealer. Next, let's go into their foundation, the famous one everyone was hyping about. Let's go back in the concealer under the eyes. Looking so flawless. Next, let's go in the powder. Pressed powder photo focus. Next we have Wet n Wild's bronzer in bikini contest, it's quite a shimmery bronzer. This would be a first impression testing but I have tested Went while to make up before and I'm not really that massive fan on it especially after like the controversy if you know what I'm just talking about I don't really rate Wet n Wild as a brand and it's not something I reach for it's basically the American version of MUA it's just cheap good makeup but not really a brand I love. Let's go in with the highlighter. It is in the colour Blossom Glow. It's just a pink highlighter. And if you're wondering why the lighting is actually good in this video, it's because I'm using natural daylight for once in my life. This brow pencil I haven't actually tested out. It's brand new in the packet, so. We'll see how it comes out. Okay, so that's the brows done. Let's move on to eyeliner, which I am not a fan of because I hate liquid eyeliners, especially with that kind of brush. I prefer when they're in a pen form because these can be very wet and messy and if you mess up then, well, you mess up because you can't really fix it. Whereas with a pen you can kind of smudge your finger and... Yes, so let's test this out. I've got an eye look going on. I'm not going to do a flick in this video. That's probably where I'll go wrong. Okay, that's eyeliner done. So last but not least, well, I've actually got lips to do, but is mascara. I haven't opened this, so again, I don't know how good this will be. It is the Mega Protein Mascara. It's the cheapest one that they have. For such a fat mascara, I would have thought the brush would have been way bigger. It's actually quite small considering the package. So, 
last but not least is lips which is very bright it is the don't blink pink in 966 I only bought this because I tried to dupe a um, a lipstick that has been discontinued. I bought, I've had this for years. I can't even remember. I think it's a dupe. I actually have never like worn this all this at once. It's very hard. That is the lips. That lips. The lips don't go with the eyes. I look like a, I literally look like a clown with this makeup on. But yeah, that is the Wet and Wild One Brown Makeup video. This was a very quick, very quick video. But yeah, I hope you guys liked it. The only thing I would probably buy is maybe the highlighter, the foundation. The brow pencil is actually pretty good, but it's my first time trying it, so I don't know if it's going to last long. Same the mascara. I don't know how my lashes will hold up at the end of the day. For a pen eyeliner, I would say it's an okay. It's okay. I let it slide, even though I don't like them. I don't like the texture of this lipstick. It feels really weird. But at the end of the day. It looks good. I'm not really a fan of the bronzer and the powder. But yeah, if you like this video, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.